Last week was a busy week for Trine Athletics, and it was highlighted by a first place finish by the co-ed sailing team, as well as a three-win weekend for volleyball. For the third consecutive week, Eckerd hosted the SAISA Regatta on Saturday, and for the second straight week, they took home first place. The Trines had three separate teams competing during the event, with teams finishing in first, fourth, and sixth place. The first place squad finished 59 points ahead of second, with Ramses Sayer and Irene Dobbs leading the way with a second place overall finish, just one point shy of the leader. Samuel Normington and Kim Kaminsky were right behind them in third place. The Trine volleyball team traveled to the University of West Georgia for the South Region crossover that pitted SSC teams against opponents from the Gulf South Conference. EC's opening contest was against Lee University as Eckerd took sets 2, 4, and 5 for the come from behind victory. Later in day one, Eckerd dropped the first two sets against the Valdosta State University and trailed 18 to 21 in the third set before they would rally back with the seven consecutive points for the set. Eckerd would then have to continue fighting in sets four and five, winning those sets 26, 24, and 15, 13 to force Valdosta State's third loss on the season. Jaquilla Baker set a new career high in the Valdosta State match with an impressive 27 kills, while Caitlin Simpson tied her season high in digs with 29. After a night's rest from two five-set victories, the Trines surged to a three-set sweep over the Chargers from the University of Alabama in Huntsville. Behind 53 kills in the three matches, Baker was named to the all-tournament team. The men's soccer team entered the week ranked 23rd in the nation but suffered two conference losses. The first match took place on Wednesday across the bay against Tampa. The Spartans would strike first in the 57th minute, but Juan David Tejada equaled the score 10 minutes later off of a Jordan Lee assist. Despite eight saves by Alex Scott, one of which coming off of a Tampa penalty kick in the 22nd minute, the Tritons surrendered two goals in the 69th and 87th minute for a 3-1 defeat. It has so far been a terrific year for EC's five seniors, but they would fall on senior night in a heartbreaking fashion against Lynn in extra time by a score of 4-3. All three of Eckerd's goals were created from set pieces, the first of which was an equalizing free kick from the right side that curled around the right post by Rick Ainskill in the 53rd minute. Seven minutes later, another Ainskill free kick from the opposite side of the pitch was headed in by Antonio Alvarez for his first goal of the season and an Eckerd league. Lynn struck with back-to-back -back set piece goals of their own in the 71st and 76th minutes to reclaim the lead, but the Trions would strike one last time in the 90th minute. Jordan Lee set a corner kick into the box where Alvarez struck once again with his second goal in the night, sending the match into extra time. However, the Fighting Knights took the victory on another set piece in the 107th minute. Eckerd would also see two defeats on the women's side of soccer. Despite creating more opportunities than Tampa on Wednesday night, the Trines fell 3-1 in a home contest. The Spartans struck quickly in the 4th minute and once again in the 30th minute off of two corner kicks. EC continued to fight and narrowed the gap to the 79th minute. Leah Chisholm initially created the opportunity by sending the ball in from beyond midfield. The Spartans successfully gathered possession but were unable to clear the ball as Taylor Tippett and Monique Elliott both rushed the defense with Tippett sliding in to knock the ball across the line for her fifth goal of the season. Then on Saturday, the team would be defeated 4-0 when they traveled to Lynn. The women's golf team also competed earlier in the week at the Guy Harvey Invitational hosted by Nova Southeastern. The field proved to be difficult with 10 nationally ranked programs competing. The Trions finished in 17th place after shooting 348 on day one and 363 on day two. Sarah Green led the way for Eckerd with a two-day total of 167. Mandy Milne dropped three strokes from her first day to finish with a 181, while Brittany Loveless recorded a 180. Thank you for joining us once again for the Trion Tracker. We'll be back next week with more Trion news.